Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Andrzej Głuszak. It's very hard to pronounce because it's a Polish name. Uh, I work for JetBrains and today I will uh, tell you something about the build server protocol. So, what is the build server protocol? You've probably heard about the language server protocol, which is um, used for building um, code intelligence for um, IDEs. So, build server protocol is used for uh, communication between IDEs and build tools. Um, it's inspired by LSP. Uh, and similarly to LSP, it solves the n times n problem. So what is it? It's, uh, let's say you have three IDs and you have four build tools. So for each ID, you would normally have to be, you would normally have to build a uh, integration with that build tool um, separately. So the build server protocol enables you to write just a, um, one server for your build tool and one client for the um, for the IDE, and this uh, solves this complexity. So that's uh, the good old Duke from Java reminding us the principle to write once, run everywhere. This is similar. So a bit of history. Uh, so once upon a time, there were many Scala build tools, many um, IDEs, and they all wanted to be able to talk one to another. So later, we joined and wanted to make a new plugin for Bazel. So we jumped um, on this train and decided to build it upon the build server protocol which was developed be, uh, by us, JetBrains, and the Scala Center. Uh, one protocol to rule them all. So now uh, we made a server for Bazel, which supports many languages. All the Scala build tools and Scala IDs I mentioned are also um, included, and there are new uh, build tools which are uh, supported by BSP, uh, Cargo, which is a build tool for Rust, and Microsoft is working on support for uh, Gradle. And so the architecture of BSP is very similar to LSP. It's also a JSON RPC protocol. Um, that's well. Uh, not exactly client-server architecture, but for simplicity, we call build tools uh, servers and IDs we call clients. Um, BSP consists of a set of, of core uh, requests and notifications, and for each um, build tool or language, you can have um, an extension which provides specific metadata, like, for example, um, jars, uh, the list of jars, which are dependencies of a given Java um, target. Um, difference between uh, BSP and LSP is that in BSP uh, you don't get dynamic capability registration, so uh, all clients and servers have to um, explicitly list what they're capable of on startup. Uh, so what can they be capable of? For example, uh, you can ask uh, the server to build this target with a given ID. You can ask it to give you a list of sources belonging to this uh, target. You can run all the tests or some of the tests uh, contained in, in the given target. You can reload the workspace, you can clean the cache, you can list the dependencies, and so on. Um, the architecture of the um, protocol is that we have written it in the Smithy data description language, and um, this Smithy thing is developed by Amazon, uh, and it allows for a very easy code generation. So all of our uh, support libraries for uh, Java, Kotlin, Scala, and Rust and also our website with uh, the specification 
in uh, TypeScript. They are all generated from um, from the single uh, file. You change the file and everything gets regenerated. That's very handy. Mm. So our uh, BSP server for Bazel, it's called Bazel BSP. Um, it allows you to uh, have a client connected to uh, to the to your Bazel project, basically. So um, BSP targets and uh, Bazel targets, they have one-to-one -one correspondence. That's very um, that makes very easy uh, for us to to um, use the target IDs. Uh, in Bazel, it is clearly specified what is a binary target that you can run, what is a test target that you can test. And Bazel also has a very powerful query and aspect system that all uh, greatly helped us during the uh, development. But we also encountered some uh, problems. For example, we were uh, trying to use the build event protocol for uh, reporting events in uh, in IDs. Um, also, extracting structured diagnostics is hard. Both of those things are um, hard and require uh, very often writing specific um, handling specific cases for uh, which is not universal um, so in general we use aspect injection uh, to gather information about the your workspace um, and we either run some basal command like query or just uh, test run etc then we either parse the standard output or uh, the BEP events. Unfortunately, BEP turned out to be a bit unreliable for, for that um, purpose. Um, yeah, so basically all of uh, BSP requests can be easily uh, translated to basal commands for other um, build tools. Uh, the correspondence should also be similar. Um, and we will have the entire uh, Birds of Feather session dedicated to our new um, Bazel plugin for, for IntelliJ. So we will be able to learn more about it tomorrow or the tomorrow or the day after. Um, we have a um, BSP Discord. You can join it if you want to uh, learn more about uh, BSP. Of course, the, um, all of the currently existing servers are uh, publicly available on, on GitHub. Our, the source code for our client is also um, on GitHub. And if you plan to uh, help us building the new um, the new tooling uh, experience, you can join us uh, on this Discord. Uh, yeah, so thank you. I wish you happy Bazeling and IntelliJing. And uh, you can ask me questions. Yeah, we have time for questions. So if you have any, raise your hand. Can you say a few words about how the build event protocol is giving you a hard time? Uh, so we basically the problem is that it doesn't contain um, all the info we we need, so we have to uh, parse the standard output anyway. Uh, that's the main problem. The other problem, it's more um, related to our comfort during development, um, is that uh, we have to, because there is no 
um, there is no pre-compiled jar, which would be like the proto library with the protos for for um, for BEP available. We very often have to recompile the um, proto stuff. And because it fits the question very well, um, the problem we have with the build event protocol is that A, the upload in IDEs is synchronous, not asynchronous. So you have four developers sitting in their home networks and all of a sudden they are facing a two gigabyte build event protocol because of the unit tests and the selections and what you have. Start using output filter then. Will kind of done that, or do you want to comment? Uh, well, maybe there are other questions. So, yeah, if there are more questions, yes. Uh, you mentioned Microsoft are working on Gradle support. I was wondering, does this mean BSP will be this beautiful bridge that means VS Code and IntelliJ both benefit from these efforts? Uh, yeah, so um, I don't know about the BSP, like the most general um, case, if it's supported in uh, VS Code, but um, yeah, for example, there's Metals, which is a uh, Scala ID, and it's it's based on, uh, I mean, it's a plugin for, for VS Code, and it uses BSP. Um, yeah, so... Uh, VS Code and IntelliJ working together. Yay. More questions? All right, if not, then let's thank Andre again. <laughs>